Fishing from Yamaha wave runners is nothing new to us. We've had numerous adventures over the years, often with mixed success, but it's always a fast pace, high octane day on the water. The recent launch of the jet fish concept during last year's boat show circuit rekindled our interest in this style of angling and we were keen to get back in the saddle for some jet fish adventures. The challenge for the day was to catch Morton Bay's finicky and fussy long tailed tuna using Yamaha Power, a wave runner that is jet fish specced and ready for action. The location, Morton Island, it's a fair run from the boat ramp but the wave runner did it with ease despite the choppy bay conditions. So, searching, searching, and these fish seem a little bit shy from first appearances. I mean, there's a lot of boats in Morton Bay, a lot of boats, so I think they probably are scared of boats. Now, the advantage that I've got on the beautiful wave runner is I can see them splashing about and busting up on the surface, and then with just a squeeze of my fingers like that... Yeah! <laughs> I will be at the School of Fish. So I think I've got an advantage early here. Then I've got my rod here ready to go, ready to cast. So it's all about speed, just like that. So all I need now is a school of busting up long tail and we will be in. We will christen the jet fish with some sort of large tuna. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Sure enough, as the morning rolled on, we started to see signs of the tuna breaking the surface. They were happily feeding away until a boat came anywhere near them, at which point they would just disappear. But that is where the supercharged FX SVHO came into its own. I saw them, and there was only a few of them. But zero to 50 in like two and a half seconds, and I was there before they even knew it. Oh. And this just ticks all the boxes as a sports fishing activity. Whoa. Good fish. There's your fish. There's my fish. There he is. That's Look a good him. fish. Nice fish. Now, landing techniques out of the wave runner. Yeah. You sort of sledge him aboard like a whaling ship. I think you probably do, couldn't you? I think you do, don't no. you? Up the back, up the ramp. It's almost like a tuna door there. Like that. That is sensational. <laughs> well done. Ah! Yeah! Have a look, have a go at this thing. These pontoons added stability and also, I've got an esky. Look at that, in goes my tuna. That'll be beautiful sashimi later on. I've got rod holders, I've got tackle drawers here in each side, I've got drink holders. Over here, I've even got a live bait tank, so I can go live baiting for black marlin if I want to. It really is an incredibly well set up little vessel. And, did I mention, just take that off there, my sun is on, it goes from zero to around about 100 in about four seconds. Fresh tuna on board for dinner, it was time to search for more. As well as being fitted with customised side pods and rod rack, this Yamaha FX Wave Runner also has a live bait tank, fish finder with GPS and plenty of tackle storage solutions. Yeah, a bit slow producer. There's uh, birds over here producer. Driving around with the right closed producer. Let's go catch one of those. Pretty cheap trick, Dad. You need to open your eyes. We were stalking, oh, stalking. them. Open your eyes. I'm not, I'm not interested in stalking them. 
This is a bigger one. I hope you get eaten by a shark. Don't be like that. <laughs> Don't be like that. You need to probably work a little bit on this part. Your catching part's very good. <laughs> <laughs> this yes. part of the operation is less good. And in she goes. And how well resolved is that? That'll even it up a little bit next so she's not so lopsided with the big tuna in this side. Now it's got a big tuna in this side as well. What's going to do about the big lump in the middle of it? <laughs> These new wave runners really are so user friendly. Everything you need is at the tip of your finger. It's even got, for want of a better term, cruise control. So on the way over here, when it was a bit choppy and rough, I couldn't go my 100 kilometres an hour. I only wanted to go 30 kilometres an hour. So all you do, you pick your happy cruising speed around about there, hit cruise control, and then you can just hold the throttle in all the way and away you go. You can adjust your speed by pressing the up and down arrow in sort of small increments. The other thing that these new wave runners have, I'll just break the uh, cruise control off, is a brake. So hit the brake here on your left hand and you stop. It doesn't throw you over the handlebars, but it's a very good safety feature. It also acts as you reverse. So go on to the days where you have to manually put the machine into reverse. Now it's all electronic, just by this little model here. <laughs> they really are good fun, those things. Really are good fun. The Jetfish concept offers a range of advantages and it's no wonder it's a growing sport both here and overseas. Just getting to the fishing grounds is almost as exciting as hooking up. Plus you can fish by yourself, the craft is easy to launch and retrieve and clean up is quick and storage is very convenient. And by using Yamaha you know it's going to be super reliable.